hey guys welcome to my channel today i'm going to be teaching you how to draw natural looking brows and i'm going to be working with untrimmed brows so let's get right into this video First of all, you're going to be needing a spoolie brush and an angled brush. I have the two of them in one piece so it works perfectly. You're going to take the spoolie brush and brush your brows. You're going to brush your brows in an upward like manner following the direction in which your brow grows. Next up, we're going to use this Echo Styler Gel, the same one you use for your edges. Mm -hmm. you don't need to buy a brow gel you can use the same gel you use for your edges and just brush it on over your brows laying the hair nicely we're brushing in an upward like manner as we have done before so you just spread the gel all over and make sure your brow is laying nicely if you've applied too much gel, you can go in with your finger to dab in the excess as you will see me do soon. But yeah, just brush, brush until the hair is laying nicely. And after this, we're going to go in with our eyeliner pencil I'm using the Davis eye pencil that costs 200 naira super budget friendly in shade number 18 make sure your pencil is sharpened guys and then we're going to outline our brows you are going to follow the natural shape of your brows and start outlining from the middle of the brows going towards the tail of your brows and then once you're done with that, you come forward and outline the beginning of your brows using very light strokes. And you're going to go over to the top of your brows and do the same thing. You will notice that the closer I get to the tail of my brows, the darker the strokes get. That will give you the natural gradient finish for a natural looking brow and I do not outline the foremost beginning part of the top of my brows I leave it as it is for a more natural look and so now I'm going to just be filling in the brows all the areas that seem sparse I'm going to just be filling them using upward like strokes guys anything you do on your brows always do it in an upward like manner so I'm applying the pencil in upward like strokes and just feeling the brows nicely you don't want to do too much because remember we're going for a very natural looking brow and once you're done feeling it to your taste you're going to go over the brow with your spoolie brush again and just blend everything in blend it in nicely and you can also brush off all the extra nonsense <laughs> so just brush the hair and blend it nicely with the pencil you could really leave your brows after this and just step out if you like how it looks but if you want a more defined look then you're going to have to conceal the, sh the outline of your brows so I'm using my early girl pro concealer in the shade fun and using the angled brush now I apply the concealer starting from the middle moving towards the tail before I bring the concealer to the beginning of my brows as you can see me do so you're just going to spread out the concealer you do not need a lot of concealer a little goes a long way 
and using a little concealer makes it easier to blend so you don't have that harsh concealer line under your brows when your full makeup is done and so I'm just using the angled brush to just blend the concealer in this will take a lot of time so you could use a wider brush instead of the angled brush to blend but if you do not mind wasting some time then you could definitely work with the angled brush and you can also use your finger to dab in the excess products and just blend everything nicely there you go and next up I'm using my foundation this is the Revlon color stay foundation in shade caramel and I use my foundation to conceal the top of my brows so it looks very natural and I'm going in with the same angled brush and just blending in that foundation nicely if you notice I do not conceal the very beginning part of my brows on top I didn't draw an outline there so there's nothing for me to conceal I'm really just putting the empty brush there now <laughs> and then I'm going back in with the same pencil to just fill in any space that I feel still needs some filling you don't have to do this step if your brows look alright to you and then back with the spoolie brush and just blending everything nicely this is our final step and once you blended it nicely you would have a beautiful brow similar to this if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up drop a comment and don't forget to subscribe Thank you guys. Bye.